Retirement is something that many of us were told to think about when we were younger, with the advice being, put some away whilst you can and save for a rainy day. Some of us never received this advice until much later in life, and many of us trusted what those in power were telling us and relied on having the state pension, knowing we would have something as long as we kept working and paying our taxes. Claiming the state pension used to be 60 for women and 65 for men. It was then raised to the age of 66 for both men and women, then increased to 67, then increased to 68, and now they're wanting to increase it to 71. This change was implemented in 2010 by one party, and when the other side were elected later the same year, it was not reversed, but was actually accelerated. The hardest hit by this has been women born in the 1950s, known as the WASPy women. They've been campaigning for years to receive their compensation. Finally, this year could bring the good news that they've been longing for. We pray that's the case. Perhaps many young people will be thinking, well, it's for old people, it doesn't affect me. That's not true. It affects all of us. Some may say, people are living longer. That's also not true. It's been proven that in deprived areas in the UK, life expectancy is less than in affluent areas. It was interesting to see the current Prime Minister recently announcing in a Yorkshire pub that we actually pay two taxes, so the current government are planning to eliminate one of those taxes. PAYE is the only tax we pay. NI is not a tax, since this is the contributions paid towards health, the National Health Service, and state pension. Could it be that this is a new scheme to eliminate the NHS and the state pension altogether? We ask God, whatever word you choose, please to make this not be true. For those thinking that the state pension is a benefit, please think again. It's a basic human right. I'm reminded of Proverbs 29 verse 7 which says, the righteous considereth the cause of the poor, but the wicked regardeth not to know it. There are many cultures around the world where the elderly are respected and treated with dignity. They're recognized as having made sacrifices for their families and passing on the wisdom they've accumulated throughout their lives. However, here in the UK, the treatment of the elderly has long been a bone of contention. I have actually heard people saying that old people should be made to stay at home on weekends since this is the time for working people to do their shopping. Well, perhaps that's why some of the elderly choose to come out at weekends to shop, because it's busy and they want to feel part of society. They may have been alone all week and they may need to feel other people around them, even if those people are ignoring them. Here in the UK, even the elderly that have money put aside for a private pension are forced to sell their houses in order to have their needs taken care of if family are not able to help or care for them. £1,800 per week, and sometimes more, for private care in a care home. The price of an all-inclusive cruise is £500 per week, and there are always good medical facilities and supplies on board if needed. Whatever your opinion was of the Queen, nobody can forget the picture of a 95-year-old frail great-grandmother sitting alone at the memorial of her husband, who was by her side for 73 years. If you have older relatives or older people around you, please cherish them. They still have much to give and much to offer. You may find they understand much more than you think.